Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. So first of all, before going to this tutorial, I would like to wish everyone a happy new year and hope you all achieve the success what you are looking for and have a great year ahead with lots of joy and peace. So now let's see what we are going to learn from this tutorial. So in this tutorial, I will be showing how we can convert logos which are in illustrator format to 3D in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me and by the way if you like short 3d simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description okay so now without any further ado let's start today's video so here i'm using blender 3.0 nice so now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing a on the keyboard and delete so first of all let's move on to this illustrator here i got this illustrator file which i have downloaded from freepick.com okay so this we need to export as svg file so for that select the file go to this file options export export as so in type select this svg so make sure you have selected this svg and export your file so while exporting give this decimal value a high number so i will give this 10 and okay so it will be saved in svg format so now come to this blender so in order to import this svg files we need to enable this svg add-on so by default this will be enabled in latest versions so if you are not getting the svg file imported go to this edit preferences in add-ons and search for svg so here you can see we got this import export scalable vector graphics this should be checked here so enable it save those preferences and close so now we can import those svg files so go to this file import so here you can see we got that scalable vector graphics option simply click on that and select the file so here i got that file and import svg in this scene collection you can see we got this curse here so we got that file but it is way too small so select here like this press s on the keyboard and increase the scaling to reveal the logo so here you can see we got the logo so first of all let me align this origin point to the center so go to this object set origin origin to geometry and let me place the logo here like this nice so here you can see we got our logo so all these are in curves so first we need to convert this into mesh so press a on the keyboard to select all the curves go to this object convert convert to mesh so now you can see we got the curves converted to mesh so now if i move on to this wireframe mode you can see the mesh here so now first of all let's join this mesh here so here we got this all the objects separated so now select all by pressing a and now press ctrl plus j okay so now we got this as single object let me origin to geometry nice so if i move on to this wireframe mode you can see the mesh is not proper so before going to adjust the mesh we need to extrude this logo file so in order to do that we can add solidify modifier but we may encounter a problem or an issue so first let me show you what we may get after adding this solidify modifier so press tab to exit this now let me come to the solid viewport now select the logo before that let me change this color to bright okay okay so now select the object come to this modifier properties add modifier so we can add solidify modifier to get this extrusion but here you can see we are facing this issue we are getting these vertices extruded here separately so instead of adding this modifiers okay we can move on to the edit mode press tab on the keyboard to go to edit mode press a to select all the vertices or else you can select the faces and press a to select all the faces now press e and extrude them upward okay so now we can see we are not getting those vertices here so now again press tab to exit this edit mode so now we got this clean extrusion but if i move on to this wireframe mode still we got this bad topology here so now let's adjust this one so select the object let me be in wireframe mode only so come to this modifier properties add modifier and add a remesh modifier okay so now come to the smooth options here uncheck this remove disconnected 
and increase this oct tree depth value so if i keep on increasing this you can see our logo is forming here so let me go to this nine so it may take time depending upon the complexity of the logo so still we got this rough and edges so i can still increase this number but it may take some more time to get these details here so i will leave this to nine only okay so once you are happy with the mesh thing here so we can apply this modifier okay so after applying the modifier let's move on to the solid viewport and now we got our logo so let me shade smooth this so right click and shade smooth so here you can see we converted our illustration file or the logo which is in illustration format into 3d so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye